In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your start menu not working in Windows 11. Unfortunately, there is not one fix that will work for everyone, so you will need to go through each of these fixes to find the solution that works for you. Now, the very first thing we need to do is come over to our task manager. Now, if your start menu isn't working, then we can do this by pressing Control Alt Delete on our keyboard and then just selecting task manager. And inside of this list of processes, you should see something called Windows Explorer. And we need to right click on this and select restart. Once you've restarted this process we can head out of the task manager window and then you're going to press the windows key plus the letter i on your keyboard and this is going to bring up the settings menu from here we can scroll all the way down on the left to windows update and we're going to press this check for updates button to ensure we're running the latest version of windows as sometimes outdated software can cause issues with our software and applications so once you've ensured that you're running the latest version of windows you can head out of this window and this time we're going to press the windows key plus the letter x on our keyboard and this is going to bring up this list of options options and inside of here we need to select this terminal admin option and we're going to re-register our start menu inside of Windows and we can do that by pasting in the following code. I've got the code in my notepad here and I'll also leave this in the video description for you guys to come and copy and paste and we're just going to paste that inside of the terminal and hit enter. You can then head out of this window and we're then going to press the window key plus the letter X on our keyboard once more. Then come over to run and inside of the search box we need to type in CMD and then what you're going to do is you're going to hold the shift in the control key and you're going to press enter on your keyboard at the same time. Now it's important that you hold all three of those keys at the same time so the command prompt runs as an admin. It should look something similar to this with the C colon windows. If this shows your local computer's name inside of here then you've done it wrong and you'll need to go back and press shift control enter key when you're entering the command. Now inside of here the first command we need to type in is SFC space slash scan now and then hit enter and once the scans got to 100% and it's completed you then need to type in the last command which I'm going to come over to my notepad and copy here and I'll also leave this one in the video description for you guys and we can paste that inside of here and once again just wait for this to get to 100% and these two commands are going to check all of your core Windows system files just to ensure that nothing's corrupt or damaged then we can close out of these windows and if you're still experiencing issues with the start bar the next thing we can do is press Control alt delete on our keyboard once more and come over to the task manager then from the task manager we need to select run new task and inside of here we're going to type in control space slash name space microsoft dot indexing options and make sure to check create this task with administrative privileges and press ok then come over to modify and we're going to deselect everything inside of here and press ok then you can come over to the advanced tab and inside of troubleshooting we're going to select delete and rebuild index this confirmation message will pop up just press ok and you can see the status of this at the top here just wait for this to get to 100 percent and once it's finished with the indexing we can close out of this window and the very last thing we're going to do if that's still not fixed the issue is we're going to come back over to our settings menu by pressing the windows key plus i on our keyboard and inside of here you need to come down to accounts and we're going to scroll all the way down to other users and next to add other user we're going to select add account and you're just going to go through these steps to create a new account I'm going to press I don't have this person's sign in information and then we can actually create an account without using a Microsoft account and you can do that by selecting add a user without a Microsoft account all you need to do is give the user account a name I'm going to call it guest then just make a password for the account and we also need to fill in these security questions down here. Then once you've filled in all of these steps and created your account, you'll need to log in to your new account and hopefully that would have fixed the issue. And that's it guys, by following all of these steps that should have fixed your Windows start bar not working. And that's it guys, by following all of these steps that would have fixed your start menu not working. If this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.